Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox. I'm the instructor for the Big Data Applications and Analytics course, sometimes called X Informatics. This course, which is 30 hours of video, is divided into sections. Sections have units, units have lessons. Units are roughly the same thing as a lecture. They vary from 30 minutes to a couple of hours. Lessons vary from five minutes to 15 minutes. You're not allowed to fall asleep in the middle of a lesson. You are allowed to relax at the end of the lesson. That's why we have lessons. This is the introduction to the course, the first real um, unit. And it happens to have five uh, uh, lessons, and this is the first of those five lessons. And I'm at Indiana University, and this is the part of the data science curriculum at Indiana University. We've already seen this uh, polemic. This is what big data is in one sentence. Um, we use clouds, we run data analytics, those data analytics running on the computers in the cloud, accessing data from storage in the cloud. Everything is done collaboratively. We always work together, whether we uh, uh, synchronize that work via WebEx, uh, Facebook, email, face to face, what have you. In that collaboration, we process big data from the field, which solves problems in X informatics. X informatics is the same thing as the electronic version of X, sometimes called EX. So, science informatics is roughly the same as e science. And there's also a superset of X analytics. X analytics is the part of X informatics corresponding to running data analytics. X analytics is obviously a major and important part, but it probably excludes data management and things like that, which is also essential to get reasonable results. Here are the values of X we've identified just because the term X informatics in that field appears in the literature. So astronomy informatics is called astroinformatics and, and so on. And um, we have some other fields like the one I'm most associated with, physics, where uh, there, I, don't, I have not seen physics informatics. Uh, Significantly in the, in the literature, but there is little doubt that what people do in physics, say to analyze the data from accelerators, is essentially a, a version of a, a version of informatics applied to physics. So it could be called physics informatics, and all of this is built around a curriculum and an educational effort called data science. Here is this a collage of. Um, Web, web uh, paraphernalia, which I collected. Some of them just say X informatics, other than most of them actually have the field, astroinformatics, pathology informatics. The whole field of biology and health and medicine has lots of informatics attached to it, which we can see here. We have uh, informatics in the area of um, business, finance, marketing. We have social informatics, which is a field in our school. Policy informatics, geoinformatics, energy informatics, almost everything informatics there is, you can find on the web. And if you don't find it, it's probably because people have omitted to do it, but it really exists. Because everything is, every field uses computers and analyzes them in the informatics style. Or and in the big data style, because that's what informatics in some sense has become. In the final slide of this lesson, we give an overview of the course. and. A recap of the motivation. So the motivation is this amazing number, 16 zettabytes in 2016. The amount of shared stored digital data on the internet. Um, note a zettabyte is 10 to the ninth terabytes. And a two terabyte USB disk costs less than $100. I looked it up on Amazon, about $90, $86 or something. Uh, this is November 2014. And the most striking number is the 1.8 million images that are uploaded to the cloud every day. Most of those to various social media sites. That differs from the past where we took lovingly pictures of, on film and processed them. And then we stored them, as Kodak used to say, in shoebox. Shoeboxes, I should say. And uh, so these $1.8 billion are Kodak's vision of the digital shoebox. Pretty big shoebox. And all of this is um, controlled by cloud computing. You're going to say cloud computing was invented to process this data. 
because it was invented to run search, to do e-commerce, to do social media. And we have whole new industries, the industry of social media, for example, new research areas um, such as cloud computing, and they use new software. And there are lots of nifty new algorithms, like the algorithms to analyze streaming tweets. And we give an overview of big data with this motivation from a use case or application perspective. Because there's no point in, in my opinion, in doing you know, sort of studying computing unless you use it. Because computers were designed by people to solve problems that people want to solve. And as I have mentioned before, we're covering applications, algorithms, and technology with separate videos which are labeled according to what they cover. There are actually three versions of the course. Um, in spring 2015, there is a free MOOC, which has one URL. And then we have a different URL with two courses attached to that. The undergraduate I-400 course, informatics topics course, and the I-590 graduate course. Uh, these differ, these three courses differ from each other by the homework set and also the recommended required lectures. Uh, the um, MOOC has self-paced, and homework is done by peer evaluation in the community groups. The two graded courses are all the homeworks, and the recommended lectures are contr uh, controlled by the uh, Indiana University Learning Management Systems. Uh, the lectures are all online, essentially offered through YouTube or an embedded version, and uh, those have the content, like this uh, PowerPoint, plus my talking head. Of course, some people don't like talking heads, but you have mine. And all the courses we have are listed at the CGL MOOCs uh, URL, which I recommend you go to, to see if what, uh, what various things are around. And let's get going, because now the next set of lessons basically go through uh, what we have to, uh, what the contents of the course are. Thank you very much.